Phoenix. Phoenix. What are you doing? We're digging. What are you doing? Are you peeing? Hello Misfits, this is Joe, and welcome back to Casual Craft. So, I think I know what you might be asking yourself, and it probably starts something with, Hey Joe, how come you're just putting out your first episode now, when I can see that other people that make videos on the server have been putting out like four or five episodes so far? What have you been doing? Well, I'm going to tell you. Things. Uh... So there was microphone things, and then there was um, there was time things, and then squirrel, and then now I'm jumping backwards up this boat like an idiot, and here we are. So probably be more regular from now, but here's some um, cliff notes basically on what we've got going so far. Um, Day one, we started working on, uh, well, okay, it was like day four. We started working on a slime farm with Phoenix at Smart. Um, I guess he found a slime chunk or a double chunk over by where he is, so we just got going on that. Everybody's running around, doing their parts. Nobody has beacons yet, so that's great. Um, and I just kind of, I definitely kept the resources that I found when I was digging because it was the wear and tear of my pick. It's like mileage. It's like getting mileage pay at work. Mine. So, we were uh, going uh, caving. All I wanted to do was some mining. Just see what I could find. Get some, some, you know, ores and stuff. And we came across this bad boy. A little skeleton spawner. So, I dug out the chunk underneath. Um, to kind of make a room for it. It's pretty low. As you can see at bedrock, I found one single diamond. And I would like for someone at Mojang to tell me why they included the sound of a C-130 flying over in their game. So, I did this experiment. And I thought I was being like... Super clever because it takes uh, the XP from three stacks of nether quartz ore is enough to completely cure a pickaxe. But here's the thing. Um, when you do it, the pickaxe that you're healing, it has to have mending on it. That's right. I'm a dumb dumb. Now you hang your head in shame. So Sloth stopped by to help me double check uh, something that I was seeing. I, I thought it Inrods put out the maximum amount of light, um, but apparently they have one less reach than the new lanterns and um, I don't know that it puts out less light, but I think it might be because the end rods aren't a full block and maybe the lantern counts as one. So technically it's not lighting its own block. I don't know. Selfie in the nether! Selfie in the snow! So this is the main island, um, kind of where I decided to settle and make my home. Uh, we found this enormous mushroom island. It's probably the, the biggest one that I've ever seen. Um, I have these farms that I kind of set up initially before I really even had a plan um, that I need to move for the path, which you'll see in a minute. Now, I was trying to figure out how to get rid of the mycelium. So somebody had told me water, but that doesn't work anymore after 113. You can't cover the island in water and the mycelium will disappear. So then uh, I was reading a thing that said uh, it has to be at light level zero for, you know, 
a full game day. Um, and so that's why I covered the whole thing in this platform to see if it would be like an even way to do that instead of like actually having to walk around covering the landscape. So after several in-game days, roughly three hours of my life, um, I tried it one way with this one large platform. Uh, I made the platform even larger. Uh, then I kind of went into like reading a little more and it, it turns out you can't make the mycelium just disappear uh, by going to light level zero, but you can't make it not spread. So then I was trying to think about how I would do that. And what I came down to was if I was going to do that, I would still have to build this giant platform to get it light level zero, dig up all the mycelium, and then place down all the grass. Or I go through a section of the island at a time and cover, cover it in nether rack. Because if there's a block directly on top of it, then the mycelium is just going to revert to a dirt block. And the nether rack, I can insta mine, and it's a different tool than what you use for dirt. So it kind of made the whole process, I'll say easy. It's still going to be lengthy. Any way I look at it, it's going to be a lengthy process. But this way is definitely going to be the, the simplest solution. So I sectioned off, drew a line on the island, covered everything on one side of it in nether rack, and then I waited a few in-game days while I was working on the pathway from the nether portal to where my actual house is on the island. Um, and here you go. I'm pretty proud. I'm pretty proud. Like I, I like it was after I placed like the last two blocks, and I'm not done yet at this point, but. Uh, that was when I remembered the Podzol block. So I may go back and try and squeeze a few of those in here or there. Um, it is like, it's pretty orange, not just brown, and the brown is a darker brown. But, I mean, I could probably squeeze in a few of them. This is my little fountain that lights up at night because of the conduits. I wish there was a way to get them activated in the fountain, but I don't really see any way to do that. But anyway, so, cover the thing in Netherrack, right? Um... So I had that whole section over there done, and then now we're going through and we're ripping it all back off because, as it turns out, the the mycelium, it can only move one block sideways or like a, you know, a diagonal. So I have a two-wide line of netherrack going straight across the island, the, and that's going to stay until, like, we move on to the next section. Um, same with, like, my path that I went ahead and cut through. There are plain dirt blocks in there and coarse dirt. I don't know if my ceiling can move to coarse dirt or not, but either way, there's a, a gravel border all the way around the walk. So the my ceiling isn't going to be able to move into uh, the pathway. Um, and then once I started ripping all this off, like right in the very spot where I started, I saw one my ceiling block pop up and I ripped it out and then never again. And so the idea is once we get all the nether rack off, then we go and we can drop a grass block here and there around the area on the dirt and then the grass now will spread and the mycelium won't spread because it can't reach it uh, it won't take over the grass because again just can't reach it so yeah it's slightly lengthier process but uh, at the end of the day it is going to be a lot easier to uh, accomplish uh, what I'm trying to accomplish oh hello there would you care to take a little stroll with me across the island? I was just headed over to the nether portal. Perhaps you would like to accompany me? Yes, let's walk down the glorious path and hear the sounds of soft dirt and well, concrete powder uh, gently crunch under our toes as we walk. And I try to stay on the path and the, oh, I almost got wet. <coughs> Carrying on, back, no, turn with the, yeah, there we go. It's, I only have one eye, remember, okay? My depth perception is a little bit off. Oh, pull, oh my gosh. Sorry. So, um, yeah, I, I got the path done. I'm pretty pleased with how it turned out. I still I still need to find the time to go grab some puzzle, maybe try it out. Um, probably not going to do too much. It's not going to be a main block. Uh, but I got some lanterns in as well. And here's our hard line for... Uh, where the mycelium still needs to be dealt with. The grass is moving in pretty good so far. Uh, I'm kind of glad with how that's, whoa, easy killer. So yeah, 
that turned out pretty good. I threw down a few trees because, I mean, why not? Let's try and change the landscape a little bit. That uh, some of the grass spots where I just like threw a grass block down are moving around faster than where that natural grass was. Where that is like a tiny spot of the ocean biome comes up on land over there. <clears throat> so um, I, I don't know if I'm going to do the lanterns on both sides. Like right now, I kind of like how it is with just one side. Plus, I feel like a lot of the buildings are going to go to, well, currently on my right. Um... To do some farms and then I'll have like smaller things going on over on the other side that won't take up as much room so it's not as big a deal to have the lanterns on that side so yeah that's 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 pretty much the story on that I was going for uh, like having the the path blocks be kind of to the center mostly where like you would imagine people are walking and then kind of try and get the brown concrete powder around the path blocks a little so that it's like a pretty worn area but like not so worn that it's like a path maybe it's just like a little muddy or something um and then so the main circle where the fountain is, is going to have a few other roads come off it to go like over to where the smelter den is i'm going to build like a port area on the north side of the island which is that way and then um yeah i kind of like the oak i think i'm just gonna leave it as oak i did convert all uh the steps to uh the spruce here and i think i like the spruce better on the steps but i'm fine with the oak for the lamp posts i might even go birch to make it a little bit lighter um yeah i'll just kind of have to see how that goes and see if i if i like it lighter than that or not i'm not sure but we can always give it a shot see what it looks like but hey, anyways, guys, so this is Casual Craft. It is a whitelisted, uh, mostly vanilla Minecraft server. There's a link in the description if you'd like to uh, submit an application. Thanks for watching. Hit like if you liked it. Dislike if you didn't. Subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Cause when life hands you lemon, you better make some lemonade. I guess you could use them for cooking. Oh, hell, you could. Sell a man, get paid.